pulling like a banshee, I know that. Just a little guy, but he's pulling. <laughs> Fishing in Brazil today with my buddy Dale Morel, Morel Archery Targets. Dale and I fished Brazil, Venezuela, Mexico, all over the world. We're down here fishing for peacock bass. We're hoping to catch them a lot bigger than that one, but that's a start right there. That's getting started. Got that fish right there on a little deep smoothie crankbait. I'm gonna put, I gotta put my gloves on. Got out here fishing without putting any gloves on, start handling these fish. That's a little LT gray. Now a lot of these fish are schooling down here, and we'll catch a lot of small fish. But uh, hopefully we're gonna, hopefully we're gonna catch some really big ones too. Uh, they catch, yeah, I mean 20, 25. Oh, Dale's got one right there. I better get back in the water. Put my gloves on later. Dale's got his gloves on. See right here, we're on this point, Jimmy. On the point. The point, the point, the point, the point. Point. Gotta stay with him. That's the thing, if you just do nothing but fish points bass fishing, you're gonna end up being a pretty good bass fisherman. That's about all you need to know about the game. And you'll catch them. Fish love points because they're ambush areas. They're areas where they can lay, wait for fish moving in and out of, say, this pocket right here. They're gonna travel across this point. They get across this point, well then, they, the bait will come across the point, so they hang around them. I'm all. I thought that fish was a bigger fish you had to hit yours there. Okay. They make a bigger splash than they end up being, don't they, sometimes? There's a jillion of those right there in here. They're schooling. And we'll see them up on top of the water. That's, that's the one we catch in between the big ones. Is that a skinny? spotted? Yeah, they spotted or, or, or tiger. El Tigre. They call them El Tigre. About 10 pounds is about as big as they get. But a 10 pounder like that will pull like a 15 pound bar. I mean, they really pull. They're strong. Their size is really amazing. There's a big one in there somewhere. Jimmy. Teenager. Oh, we want a teenager. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Had three or four hit it. One finally got it a little bit, but he didn't get button. Spinner bait, little guy. And a bar peacock. I thought those were a little set. They sounded like a lot different fish. Isn't he pretty? Look at that. Isn't that pretty in that water? Come here, amigo. Ooh, that's when that fish monkey gloves comes in handy right there. Is against that. Now, that's a bar peacock. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for his great grandfather. That's a pretty little girl right there. That spot on the tail. They 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 crush your spinner bait. I had somebody send me a note on on our Facebook. If you're not on our Facebook, you need to get on our Facebook. Jimmy Houston, all capital letters. Oh, dang it! I have over 260,000 people on there. But somebody sent me a note and said, Jimmy, what kind of spinner bait do you find that holds up the best for peacock bass? And I said, I've never found a spinner bait that holds up the best for peacock bass. It tear them all up. So I use a Jimmy Houston Legends, my lucky strike. They tear them all up, doesn't matter. <laughs> you got him? Oh, she got you. You got him. <laughs> hit it as soon as he hit the water, didn't yeah. you? I got one, too. We'll get in there close. We catch him. <laughs> we might not get them out, but we get them on. That's all we care about. We get them out. We get them out. We get them out. Got mine off easily. <laughs> They're not giants, but they are a little bit bigger. They're pretty nice fish, really. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I like catching a four-pound bass right there, a four-and-a-half-pound bass. El Tigre. They're back in behind that stuff, man. Oh, he's got a little weight to him. Straighten my spinnerbait out. That spinnerbait's going to break here in a little bit because it's been straightened out and, and, and bent back, and it's going to break. But, but I've caught several fish on it, so when it breaks, I've got my money's worth. I'm always astounded that people complain when a spinnerbait breaks or when a crankbait starts to get messed up. Uh, you know, you buy a package of worms for 7 or $8. It's got 10 worms in it. You catch five or six fish out of that package of worms, you think you got your money's worth. 
You buy a Jimmy Houston spinnerbait for five bucks, you catch 20 fish on it and it breaks, and you think, oh my gosh, my spinnerbait broke. Think about that a minute. And if you've got a really, really good spinnerbait, it's got the right wire in it and the right blade combination, you're gonna catch a lot more fish. I need to retie this puppy. Oh, God, he's burning my hands. He's burning my hands. Big fish, yeah. Watch him coming up. Watch him coming up. He's a little tired now. <laughs> ah, my thumb, he burned all the skin off my thumb. All my, th I pushed the button and all the skin off my thumb's gone. Holy cow, holy cow. Ah. That's a big peacock bass right there. That is a big Woo. peacock bass. Woo! Ah. Ah. Man, look at that, will you? Ah, my thumb is just, I mean, he smoked it. There was skin peeling off of it. Oh, look at my poor little Jimmy Houston legend spinnerbait. Going to sakes alive. Kiss the bait. Ah, oh, guy's heavy. Ah, be a careful guy. That fish says, give me some air. I can't breathe out of water. We put him on the BOGO, 15 pounds. God, he ain't hurt a bit. Keep him out of the water. I kept him out of the water in a long time. I don't like keeping fish out of the water that long. He come out of that tree. He come right out of that tree, Dale. That's what we need to do. I'm not sure. Oh, did you see that? Did you see that fish come out of that bush? I mean, did you see that? Golly, I can't get my button pushed. Oh, he come out of that bush like a rocket. I mean, like a rocket. Look at that. Look at him pull. Golly, go back out down that tree. <laughs> Let me have that tree. You cannot have that. <laughs> well, I'm talking about. Get him all around. Yep. Yeah. Good for I got it. There we go. There we go. That's nice. That fish like to jerk me out of the boat. <laughs> he come out of that bush. It looked like a largemouth coming out of there, but he'd come out like a rocket. Nearly jerk me out of the boat. That's an LT gray. That's a nice LT gray. It's kind of skinny, but he's long. It's a heavy fish. Nice big old fish. Mm. Spinner bait. Oh, look at my poor legend spinner bait. Now that is, that is, that's just, that's just crapped up. Excuse my French. I guess I could have said that differently. Fish? Uh-huh. Big one? It's hung up, isn't he? Yeah. Hang on, back up. What'd he hit? Spinnerbait. Spinnerbait? You see him hit it? I'm probably hung up now. He's probably off. Oh, no, maybe not. No, he's not. No, he's, he's still on there. Yeah, look over there. Look over there. He's way over there. <laughs> Come out of there. He's coming this way, coming this way, coming this way, coming this way. There he is over there. Net, 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 net. No, he's not that big. Go ahead and lip him. He's pretty nice. <laughs> not that big. He's pretty dang nice. What are you talking about, not that big? He's a little bigger than I thought he was. Yeah. Finally got Dale on the spinnerbait. Takes, takes a little while. <laughs> Probably a nice six pounder, what do you think? Hold Wait a minute. Just one hand. Yeah, the morale. <laughs> Just one hand. One hand. Woo! Hold him out. Out. Got it. <laughs> what do you say? He wants to weigh him. How many? Eight. Ocho? Ocho. Ocho. Ocho Eight weakness. pounds. Eight pounds. All right, Dale. Way to go. I still have him. I still have him. That's a nice one. Might get him out of there. 
see. If I ever get close to him, I need a net. <laughs> He's wrapped around every tree in the jungle. He's swimming free back there, but he's got the line wrapped around two or three trees. I ever get, oh, he come off, doggone it. Jumped and come off. <laughs> Woo, big fish. <laughs> spinnerbait, look at that spinnerbait, man. And that wasn't from lifting, that's just, uh, they, they crater your spinnerbaits. They just crater your spinnerbaits. Look, look at that, it's bent backwards. It's bent backwards all around. I ought to put a brand new spinnerbait on. I brought about a dozen or so with me. You need to bring at least a dozen down here, probably two dozen. I probably should have brought more. But I'm here laying down and you're catching fish. How big is it? Uh, 27 pounds. 20 pounds? <laughs> are you hung up or you got a fish? Oh, it's from behind it. Holy moly. Dang. Ah. All I got to do is just lay down. Yeah, he's a good one. Yeah, net, 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 net. Need a net. Necessity, necessity. I'm gonna say, I'm a. Way to go, Dale. You catch that on spinnerbait? No. You did Lay too. Back, go back to sleep. You did too. Go back to sleep. I'm not sleeping. I'm resting my shoulder blades. Oh wow! Look at that! Ah, giant! Where's the net? Hey, where's the net? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Woo All right, way to go, Dale. I'm laying down taking a nap. I wasn't taking a nap, I'm resting my shoulder blade. You give me a little bit more of that water space up front of you, I'll catch you I've been trying one. to get you to throw that legend spinnerbait all day long. You wouldn't do it. Finally you picked it up and you caught two giant fish yeah. on it. I mean, not yeah, one, two. but two. Leave the bait in his mouth, leave the bait in his mouth. Don't hook, no, no, hook him, don't hook no, him, no, 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 no. Give it to Dale. Yeah. Staff Dale caught him. Get that off. Hold him out here, Dale. Hold him out, buddy boy. Hold him right out there. Ha ha! Woo! Quatos. Thirteen and a half. Ha! Fourteen and a half. Fourteen, thirteen? Does he trace or catorce? What'd you say? Fourteen or thirteen? Huh? Fourteen and a half. Fourteen and a half. Catorce a media? Half a pound from my goat. Fourteen and a half. Fourteen and a half. Fourteen and a half. The spanner bait, man. Got him? Got him, got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. You got a fish you hung up? Shoot. Yeah, fish. I guess he got off and got me hung He might not have, but I know, I, know, I saw it take off like a rocket. Oh, he's still on there. Hold on. You got him, you got him, you got him. It's another big one. Back up. It's another big one. Oh, watch the trolling motor, watch the trolling motor. Watch the trolling motor. It's another big one. Oh! Oh, that's a El Tigre. El Tigre Grande. All right. All right, way to go, Dale. You might uh, you can take a bait out of his mouth. The bait, take a bait out. Oh, uh, Dale, I think uh, chop chop. <laughs> chop chop, Dale. I'm thinking that chop chop off my pole. <laughs> chop chop, Dale. <laughs> no more chop chopping. No more chop chop. This is it. bait man. What do you think? Six. Six pounds. Okay. Seven, Seven pounds. Hey guys and gals, I hope you enjoyed that. We're out here working hard, doing videos all the time, and we really, really appreciate you watching. More than you can ever know. Be, here, be sure to hit that sub button and subscribe to our channel because we need every one of you. Hey, have a lot of fun. Let's go fishing.